Jordan Travis made a comment after the game, and I know Dabo responded to it about being disrespected uh, because they played a certain kind of defense, a man-to-man defense, and didn't respect, I guess, uh, his his receivers to win one-on-one battles. I, I just think that kind of stuff is silliness because that's the opposing team. They can play whatever defense they want to to determine whether whatever's going to give them the best shot of winning, and it's your job to execute it and put up points. And uh, by a lot of measurements, like you just said, they weren't even that effective doing it. So it seemed to work pretty well. And regardless of whether it worked or you scored 55 points, uh, that's their business. I was a little that I, I'm trying. I'm still trying to wrap my head around those comments. I'm not sure how playing man to man is disrespectful to you. Um, what are they supposed to do? Sit back in a soft zone and, and let you pick them apart all day long? Um, you know, I, I thought Nate Wiggins pretty much shut Keon Coleman down for most of the day. Um, might have been his best game as a Clemson, you know, Tiger. Unfortunately, got hurt right there at the end, and and it was Coleman who caught that final touchdown against Jaden Lucas after Wiggins got hurt. Um, you know, but I, I I thought for the most part the defensive game plan was phenomenal again outside of that last possession before the half. But it, it is hard to argue with those results. And, and I I just don't know where Jordan Travis was coming from. Um I remember back in Charlotte when we when we got to talk to him, you know, back at the ACC kickoff, and he was getting asked all these questions about Clemson, and he handled – I thought he handled himself so well because some of those questions were trying to, you know, kind of maybe bait him into saying something, you know, that was worthy of a headline. And he handled it so well. None of those guys gave Clemson any type of bulletin board material back Charlotte. And, you know, I, I, I kind of lost a little respect for him after those comments, man. I, I, they just felt kind of petty, man, and I, I don't know. It, they just rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, from a guy that, you know, that I thought highly of coming in. And a guy who won the game, usually they're sour grapes. If you don't win the game, trying to find excuses. But yeah, I just came across that and thought that that was a bit unusual. And um, Dabo Sweeney had great words of respect uh, for Jordan Travis in response. He could have just said, hey, we play the defense that we call. Uh, based on the situation and the game plan, <laughs> you know, yeah. that would have been my response. Basically, <laughs> I think when Dabo was asked about that right after the game, you know, and this had to be right after Jordan Travis said it, you know, because Dabo, Dabo, you could tell that he was unaware of what had been said. He looked a little surprised, and um, you know, I, I thought he he took the high road with his answer. 